Hello everyone. Thank you very much for joining us in this webinar titled AI Sales Assistant, where we could see how to make your Zoho CRM intelligent. My name is Arun and I am from the customer success team of Zoho. Today, we would be exploring the different ways where AI can help you with your sales activities along with some of the business use cases to understand why AI's presence would be deemed beneficial. Let us also see how easy it is to set these AI features inside the Zoho CRM on a quick demo towards the end of this webinar. Before we discuss the AI features that are supported in Zoho CRM, let us talk about some of the common challenges that are faced by the sales team of any organization. The first and foremost of all is the productivity. Productivity in sales refers to how efficient an organization utilizes its resources to generate revenue by closing deals. This is where the management tries to put in a lot of processes in place effectively manage the workload. Yet, the surveys tell that the results are not always positive. Some of the biggest challenges that are faced by the sales leaders today are the productivity and the performance of their sales team. Activities that they do include choosing the right prospects to follow up, focusing on the right deals, researching and updating customer data, scheduling follow-ups and notifying managers interactions through social call and email touches and the list continues to grow let us say that this process also makes the sales rep fill a list of fields after each and every one of their interaction with the prospect it ultimately eats away the time that a sales rep has on his working day bringing down his productivity Now, this is an even bigger concern where you consider the cost of operating a sales team. In addition to the earlier discussed fact, maintaining and hiring additional salespeople are not always an expensive option. This is because of the cost that would be incurred during the trainings, the salaries, the gadgets, and other expenses all to be borne by the company. Data shows that sales representatives for wholesalers and technology products make an average of over $103,000 a year. It is widely seen that most companies hire additional resources to overcome productivity related issues. What is often overlooked is that it increases the operation cost. Hence, finding a solution that would not only improve the productivity, but also to bring down the need to hire resources just to take care of administrative tasks is very much important. Efficiency is defined by comparing the generated revenue with the cost incurred for generating that revenue. It is another major characteristic that would have to be monitored closely when it comes to sales of an organization, as it defines whether your organization is running on red or on green in terms of net revenue. Having complicated sales processes may lead to sales reps not being able to achieve their targets since they would be busy taking care of non-revenue generating tasks. The sales reps are asked to perform an absurd amount of tasks each day. Nearly two-thirds of these tasks don't involve talking to prospects or to customers at all and in fact it actually detracts them from selling. Hence, an ideal process must make sure that maximum efficiency is attained during the lead generation and during the deal closures. It is the data 
that drives the sales team and so the efficiency is driven based on what is being used by the sales team this means that having good quality data collection along with storing those information in a clear and understandable format helps the entire sales process on the longer run sourcing information that are collected manually tend to have missing information or inaccurate details this often puts strain on the sales team since they would now have to do an additional job of verifying the data and collect any missing information before being able to reach out to the prospect and try to close the deal it is found that a sales rep roughly spends about 32% of their time just for data entry work all these challenges ultimately lead to more time and more money being burnt out now does this situation that we discussed sound familiar to you because if so you would have to get on the one stop solution for all the above mentioned problems which is the artificial intelligence also known as the ai an ai can be used to provide assistance to sales reps whenever a need to analyze data arise it would be nice to highlight the opportunities to focus for the day without having to go through a sea of data every single time they open their crm these assistances would greatly increase the productivity the efficiency and ultimately your company's revenue introducing zia for zoho crm our ai based sales assistant exclusively designed for business software the sales people are going to love zia for she is going to take care of all their boring repetitive tasks and provide assistance it also provides insights and good quality data thus it would improve the mood of your sales team increasing their performance and ultimately helping them achieve higher targets some of the key capabilities of what zia can do would include intelligent automation by suggesting workflows for your organization assigning a score to the lead to help your sales rep pick the probable leads that are expected to get converted as customers enrichment of data in leads contacts and accounts module with quality data from minimal inputs understanding the context of emails and easily creating a meeting based on the content of the email itself building a recommendation engine to identify which products would have greater probability of deal closures thus helping to close deals in a smart way analyzing the records as images and validating it based on the input data and so on let us now see how each of this feature could be put to good use the first feature that we are going to look at is the prioritization it is normal for a sales rep to start his day with hundreds of potential customers to contact and try to close opportunities the big question here is which of those hundreds of leads to contact first or in what order should the leads be contacted often this decision making process is based on gut instinct and incomplete information this could tremendously lower the sale count for a day bringing down the efficiency and productivity of a sales rep we can now make use of the ai technology in the specific use case wherein zia can go through the customers interactions such as emails or text messages that were sent voicemails that were left and then assign a score based on the probability of closing it successfully
After comprehensive analysis, Zia can then assign a specific score value to a field called prediction on the corresponding module. So in this case, it is the deals module. With the above score, the sales team can then easily prioritize the deals either by sorting the records based on the prediction field or by using the smart filter to apply a threshold value so that only the deals that are above a certain score are to be displayed for further engagement. This definitely would make a huge difference in the way the sales team closes the deals and helps your company grow on a faster pace. The next big area where the AI can help is the automation. Automation helps to remove the manual repetitive tasks that are carried out in your Zoho CRM. However, configuring those automations might be daunting for an administrator, as that could potentially be several workflows with several conditions with several actions in place. And it may not be surprising to hear from an administrator that he or she would hate to set all these automation up from scratch, even if it is just a one-time setup. Zia can now identify these repetitive manual actions that take place in your Zoho CRM and suggest your administrator that a certain process could be automated. She does not stop by just giving the information but actually have the workflow built on behalf of the administrator with just a single click on your workflow's setup page. A similar kind of automation can also be set when configuring the assignment rules in Zoho CRM, where instead of you having to specify each criteria and then mentioning which user is to be assigned, you can have Zia learn from your existing database so that she can automatically assign the records to the right sales rep in the future. This is made possible by analyzing the patterns on the records that are fed as training data in Zia during the initial stage. As we discussed earlier, all that a sales rep would crave for is good quality contact information and some insights on where the lead is headed towards. An AI can read the email replies, identifies the sentiment that prevails based on the body of the email and helps the sales team make decisions. Zia does exactly that by checking the context of the emails and places a sentiment tag above the subject line of an email. She also places a colored smiley denoting the sentiment itself. Let us say that your lead has replied, checking to see if you can schedule with them a meeting at a specific timing. With Zia, you can have a meeting created by the mentioned timing on your Zoho CRM calendar with just a single click of a button right when viewing the email. This would save a lot of time for your sales team, which can then be put to better use. Zia suggests the workflows for your organization by monitoring the audit logs and history of your record to find the patterns that could then help make your sales process more efficient. Forecasting is a broad terminology since that could be different types of it, such as resource forecasting, sale value forecasting, or even your company's revenue forecasting. With AI, we can now predict the expected future revenue numbers accurately enough to allocate the right amount of resources and make other strategic sales decisions. It is with this prediction builder functionality that we are going to do the intelligent forecasting. Zia would assign a score to
to every lead and deal using the predictive AI, defining how probable is a deal to get closed or how probable is a lead to get converted into a customer. Essentially, you should concentrate more on the records that have obtained high scores. If you are an organization that has some unique sales processes that involves the usage of non-standard modules on your Zoho CRM, you can have your predictive AI custom built to suit your business. This means that you can harness the power of AI to predict values of any field in any module. We have seen how Zia can predict scores, suggest automations, and even enrich data on your Zoho CRM. But if you're thinking, if AI can do any better, the answer is yes, it can. How about having an AI to recommend products that are likely to be purchased by your customers? Since it might be a little easier to sell more to an existing customer base. Hence, you can either spend a lot of money on marketing to those who won't just buy it, or you can simply use an AI algorithm to help identify which of your existing clients are likely to purchase a better version of what they currently own, which is an upsell in this case. It can also help you to offer a completely new product, which is a cross-sell by its terminology. So either of these two cases would result in an increase in revenue and then a drop in marketing costs. The information about the recommended products would be displayed under the overview of the corresponding records. This enables the sales rep to view the list of recommendations, helping them to make an effective pitch to your customers and close deals quickly. Basically, Zia finds the behavioral patterns to understand the customer's preferences. So just like any other AI algorithm, you would need to feed Zia the initial input data that would then be used for training purposes. Just to remind you, this prediction builder can be built for any module and with any criteria that you might be having. I hope that you would have now got a good idea on the ways that an AI can help you and your sales team in a great way during your sales operations. Hence, it is time to discuss on a typical use case that you might be coming across on your day-to-day -day activities. So these are some of the responsibilities where the sales teams are going to look to spend a maximum of their time. For that, they do want to reduce the time spent on admin tasks. Now the admin tasks could be like updating the status of a lead after their call is completed and sending a templated email to a lead after completing their interaction. Another would be to automate the repetitive tasks and so this could refer the follow-up emails that are to be sent, one after about seven days from their initial interaction, and then another after about 10 days from their first interaction. This is done to help keep the engagement up all the time with your lead. The third would be to review their performance and look for future opportunities and find ways to improve their sales strategies. This could refer to checking the last purchase history of a customer and then doing a follow-up activity to try to re-engage with the customer, showcasing some newly released products, raising the chances to close new deals. All these are some of the common but important day-to-day -day activities of a sales team which when executed in a correct manner could net great returns to your company.
as data entry is something that could not be eliminated completely, even though the sales rep would wish for the same, finding a way to at least make the job efficient by not having to do those basic searches for information again and again could make a huge difference. This is where features like data enrichment and ZFR emails could help. The data enrichment is a functionality that is available to you right during the creation of a record and even after the record gets created. This would be helpful in a way where you can create a record today with minimal information and you might fill some additional information like the email address at a later point of time. Hence, you can enrich the data with the new email address value at any point of time. Now let us assume that one of the lead has a lot of activities on its record, like the email conversations, the call records. Well, what Zia can do is figure out what is the most active time frame for the day to contact the lead. This would be termed as best time to contact. And so with this, the sales rep can predict what would be an optimal time to have the customer call and followed up. On a side note, it must be noted that your organization needs to have about at least 25 user licenses and that your Zoho CRM is on an enterprise or an ultimate edition to have the sentiments of your emails analyzed and have the ability to create the events based on the body of the emails. With the help of workflow suggestions and lead assignment suggestions by Zia, you can identify the repetitive steps on your process and have it automated. This would help the sales team spend more time on productive tasks. What the sales reps need to do now is get on their CRM, check the prediction scores of the leads that are assigned to them, and probably sort them in descending order to quickly see the best leads for the day. They don't even have to think twice whether the lead is on an area that they handle, since Zia understands the pattern of lead assignment based on the training data set. Now, there could be changes on your sales process frequently, and so at the beginning of every month, Zia reanalyzes and suggests new workflows based on the last month's data. Hence, it is right to say that Zia is adaptive. This is the end goal for any sales process, and that would be to improve the revenue. And so making sales predictions and projection can help make the decisions that you take strategic. This is where the concept of upsell and cross-sell comes into picture. Identifying the products that are likely to be purchased by a customer and informing the sales rep about this data could be extremely valuable when they try to do a follow-up. Well, this is done hoping to close additional deals. The constant engagement and suggesting only the analyzed products and not just some random ones would improve the experience that your customer has on your business, increasing their customer lifetime value and the overall revenue by each and every one of your customers. If for some reason your sales go down with an alarming difference, Zia can quickly identify these anomalies and notify the agents so that immediate actions could be taken to put your sales back on track. With all these in place, you should find a great difference on your sale numbers for this year when compared to the time where you did not have the support of our Zia. Let me now take you inside an actual Zoho CRM account to show you where to find and activate these features so that you can see for yourself on how easy it is to set and configure these topics that 
we have discussed today. So this is how the Zoho CRM's homepage might look like, which you can access by going to crm.zoho.com. And so before we get to the actual functionalities of the Zia, let's firstly figure out where to find these settings in CRM. You would have to click on the settings on the top right corner. And once you go to the settings page, you will find a separate category called as Zia with a lot of different functionalities that we have discussed so far. So the first of all that we are going to see is the data enrichment. So once you click on the data enrichment, you can see the list of modules that are supported along with the ability where you can turn it off or turn it on. Now, when you would be clicking on any of the module, this takes you to a page where you can define the field mappings. So that on the left, you would see all the Zia's enrichment fields. And on the right, you can see all the fields that you would have inside the module that you have selected. So based on the company, the email, and the website field, the Zia will automatically find the information from the website, and then it will automatically map those fields to the field values that are mapped using the setup. Now, let me take you to one of the lead records that I would be having, or let's say that I would like to create a new lead in this case. So let's say that like the only information that I would be having is going to be the company. Now, all that a sales rep would need to do is that once he types in the company name, he can see a button coming available called as Enrich Data Available. So once he clicks on the Enrich Data, Zia can easily identify all these different values from the web that you can select or unselect the ones that you want to insert inside the lead creation page. So once you click on Update Lead, all the fields that has been given by Zia will immediately be populated here. And so you can simply click save after giving it a name so that a lead will be created with a lot of valid information. Now let's say that you already have a lead created. And so if you're wondering how to enrich an already existing record, all you need to do is like get inside the record and click on the three dots and find the option that is called as enrich data. So once you click on enrich data, you can see if there are any additional information that has to be updated inside your CRM. So select the ones that you want to update and then click update lead and it will take you to the edit page layout wherein it automatically has applied all the changes that you wanted to make so that you can simply click save. And so all the information related to the company would now be getting updated. So that is how easy it is going to be for you with this data enrichment feature to keep your data up to date all the time. Now let's talk about the Zia's lead assignment functionality. In order to see that, you would have to go to the settings again, and then under automation, you will find an option called as assignment rules. Now, when you click on assignment rule, this is a place where you can create assignment rules for different modules. Now, let's say that I would like to create an assignment rule for my contacts. I would name this as contact assignment rule. And let me hit next. Now, this is a place where you can select the option Zia suggested user. However, as I said, you would have to have about 1000 records for the Zia to suggest by understanding the existing data. So once you select this option after you have 1000 data or 1000 records inside the module, and once you hit save rule entry, any future records that will be created on this module will automatically be assigned to the correct sales rep based on the suggestion provided by Zia. Now let's talk about the prediction builder. 
Let's go back to the settings of your Zoho CRM. And under Zia, you would find something called as prediction. Now, once you click on prediction, this is a place that you would be building the prediction builder for any of the modules inside your Zoho CRM. All you need to do is click on the new prediction, give the prediction a name. So let's say this is for the deal prediction. And you can select which module you would like to predict. And then you would like to see what exactly is the related module that you would like to predict. In this case, it is going to be the stage field that I would like to predict inside my deals module. Now you can select what are all the different pick list values that are considered as positive values. And then if there are going to be any kind of negative values, you can update it here. Once you'd be selecting all these valid information and giving Zia some time to understand these information, you would be able to see an information that is available like this that would state that Zia has successfully learned from your data and that it has about 95% accuracy when delivering new information. So that is how you can create your own prediction builder with Zia's capabilities in Zoho CRM. Now let's talk about some of the communication features that are supported by Zia. When you click on Zia communication, it is going to give you an option that you can turn it off or turn it on the suggested call timing or the best time to email. Once you have these two options enabled, Let's say that you are going inside one of the contact record that you might be having, and you are clicking on the record to find if there are any other best time for today to contact the lead either via a call or an email. Based on the previous interactions that you would have done with this contact, these informations would automatically be populated for best time. Now I can see that there is no best time for today, Let's select some other day that I would like to try to reach the customer. And as you can see, it is for the Saturday that I have a best time of 10.30 p.m. as the time to contact via an email. Now, what you can do is like you can simply click on this timing so that you can even create a task or schedule an email so that you don't forget to make use of the best time for this contact. Now let's talk about the Zia's capabilities when it comes to validating images. For this, you would have to click on the vision under Zia, click on get started, and then you can now define what exactly is the rule name going to be. Once you'd be specifying what the rule name is and then selecting which module is the place where the Zia's image validation should happen, you can then specify which field to be validated and then import a couple of uh, photos or a couple of images that you would have to have Zia learn from your existing training pictures. So that in the future, the next time when a new lead is created and if there is an image uploaded to the lead image, it will automatically identify and validate it based on the training data set. You can also define what exactly should happen in an event of Zia failing to validate the image. Or if in case if it finds that this is not a good image for this lead based on the training data set, you can define from one of these four different options that Zia can use to decide. So finally, let's talk about the ability of Zia to handle the anomalies. This is done under the notifications of Zia. Once you hit the notifications, you can see a list of all the different types of sliders that you can turn it on so that Zia identifies the anomalies based on the configurations that you would be doing here. And if at all a specific anomaly happens, the sales agent and yourself will be notified under this Zia's tab that is on the bottom right. So once you click on Zia, 
it is going to show you with an attention message that something is off and so you should take corrective decision in the shortest period of time. So this is how the VR functionalities could help you make your Zoho CRM very intelligent. Now, feel free to go ahead and activate the Zia features on your Zoho CRM account. Start using it and experience the difference for yourself. Let us now discuss on some of the frequently asked questions that are raised by a lot of our customers. Question number one is, what fields on a lead are being used to search on the web resources for data enrichment? The data enrichment is a feature that works actively by gathering the available information on the web based on the company, the email, and the website field values on your record. Another commonly asked question is, is there a minimum number of records that are needed for the Zia to predict? Or can I just have Zia predict values on my fresh Servo CRM account? Since the AI needs to be trained properly to predict, the initial input data must have at least about 200 records that satisfies the criteria so that Zia could get trained. Similarly, for the Zia's lead assignment, it needs a minimum of 1,000 records on the module so that the AI can learn by finding the patterns on the existing records. Now, this is an interesting question. Since Zoho CRM is not a mailbox on its own, doing an IMAP email integration would just have the emails that are available on your mail server associated to the corresponding records inside your Zoho CRM match based on the email address field. Yet, Zia's email intelligence functionality would work on even the emails that has the source as IMAP. Now, this could help you not having to switch your tabs between your mailbox and the Zoho CRM. If you would still have any other questions related to any of the functionalities of Zia in Zoho CRM, feel free to email us at support at zohocrm.com and we would be more than happy to help you out. If you are looking for some online help documentations on these Zia functionalities, do visit the mentioned web address or simply search for Zia for Zoho CRM and you should find the help links show up on the search results. So my name is Arun and I thank you again for taking the time to listen to this webinar and I wish you to have a very nice day. Thank you.